people in Washington that would help migrants get an expedited path to citizenship. It would require them to first serve in the U.S. military. All right, Fox Size Morgan McKay joins us with details of the bill which lawmakers say could help solve two problems at once. There is no higher honor than serving your country in uniform. And that honor could be extended to migrants under a new bill introduced by Hudson Valley Woo! Congressman Pat Ryan. Called the Courage to Serve Act, this bill would offer qualified and vetted migrants an expedited path to citizenship if they serve Expedite. in the military. According to Ryan, last year the military services collectively missed recruiting goals by roughly 41,000 recruits, leaving some crucial positions unfilled. If there are folks with the courage to raise their right hand, take an oath to protect and defend our Constitution, and put their lives on the line for this country, then they sure as hell deserve the opportunity to be citizens in the United States of America. This bill comes days after a bipartisan border security package negotiated by the Senate fell apart amid Republican opposition. Staten Island Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis argued that the Senate bill did not go far enough when it comes to securing the border and said there is more President Joe Biden can do in the interim. He can uh, end catch and release, he can adjust the asylum, he can end the parole program that he started, and he can actually shut down the border. He can shut it down. Meanwhile, more than 173,000 migrants have entered New York City in the past two years, Ooh. with the city still currently caring for close to 70,000 migrants. Governor Kathy Hochul on Friday continued her call for a border deal, saying New York cannot continue to handle this influx of migrants. If the 10 Republican members of Congress who represent the state of New York would simply exercise their clout, walk down to Speaker Johnson's office and say, our state needs help right now, they can no longer financially afford to handle this number of people. Now, Congressman Ryan, along with Congressman Mike Lawler, wrote a bipartisan letter to President Joe Biden last year asking that he approve New York's request for a major disaster declaration so more federal resources could be funneled to the state, something uh, that, that Biden still has not done. <laughs>